Mysteries. This week, Bigfoot Sightings of Colorado. Hello and welcome to those endless mysteries. This week we are in Colorado in search of those sighting reports and news articles from this area. So first up is a sighting report that comes out of Summit County from July the 25th of 2019. The witness stated that on Thursday, July the 25th, that him and his girlfriend were hiking in the Mayflower Basin, south of Colorado 91, that Helen, his girlfriend, had gone ahead of him to the foot of the basin, and that he was about 100 yards off the three minor log cabin remnants sitting on a rock eating some peanuts and drinking some water when he saw a large brown biped approach the snow wall. The creature tried to climb it but was unable to do so. The wall is of snow, ice really. It is about 20 feet and over 20 feet in some places. Then the creature moved down laterally to its right and down to the ground off the snow. It then walked on two legs to the right and out of his view. Now about four or five minutes later, another hiker and his dog was coming down the trail when he noticed the creature walking above the snow southbound. After that, he never seen it again. The witness was confident that the figure he saw was much bigger than a normal person. It had a very large frame and was consistently dark brown in color. The witness stated that what he saw was at least two feet taller than most humans, and its width was way more than any human he had ever seen. After his girlfriend came back to him, they had a good long conversation upon what the witness had seen. That's when they both decided to go up to where he had seen this creature, where they took pictures of what looked to be footprints and handprints in the snow and ice. Here are the pictures they took. Now in this first picture, you can see the witness standing by the rock that he was sitting on. And the red arrow points to where the creature was seen. That looks like a very long distance to me. Now this one shows the footprint where the creature had been spotted. Now this next one is a good picture of the fingerprints that was found here also. And I'm glad that these people had their phones or cameras with them for these great pictures. Now this next picture can kind of tell us just how big this creature was. The wall is said to be over 20 foot tall and the fingerprints are over halfway up the wall. So better than 10 feet with arms stretched over its head. So I'm thinking 8 to 9 feet tall at least. I would say so. Now I hope that you liked this sighting report and drop me a comment down below on this one. I try to find these sightings that I haven't seen all over the internet. So it's not just the same old story for you guys. But I want to keep them up to date as much as possible. But still, there are some very good older sightings that many people just have never heard of. And I like to bring one or two of them out every now and then. Now this next sighting comes out of Lemire County from September 22nd of 2009. The witness states, that he had went to visit his brother in Boulder, Colorado from September 19th to September 26th. His brother has a cabin on Crystal Lake near Red Feather with the elevation being above 8,500 feet. The witness states they were at the cabin from Sunday but couldn't do any trout fishing due to the constant snowing. For two and a half days it snowed. When Tuesday morning came around, the witness was looking out the front door, but again, snow. 
when he noticed something black and walking upright, heading for the aspen trees. He thinks it was startled by a pickup truck coming down a small dirt road. Then he asked his brother to look at this thing through his field glasses. I wonder if he meant binoculars in that case. I've just never used that term, field glasses, before. Anyway, back to the sighting. Now, he states that the creature looked to be at least seven to eight feet tall and weighed at around 350 to 400 pounds. After the sighting, they went out and took a look where they had seen the creature. They found footprints and didn't have a tape to measure, so they found a yardstick. They measured them. The footprints were 17 and a half inches long and six and a half inches wide. They tried to track this creature to the heavy snow covered up the tracks. In a later interview, the man said that the shoulders were at least three feet wide and a narrowing waist, maybe down to two feet or so. The face they thought was more like a orangutan. They said its mouth looked wide, but with very thin lips. The animal had a big head and a high forehead, kind of like a gorilla, they stated. Its cheeks was puffed, and it had a wide, flat nose. Not pointy like a human's nose. That's its nostrils pointed down like most humans. And they said it had no facial hair that could be seen. Now, the creature did have hair on the bottom of its chin, though. It also had long hanging arms that almost went to its knees. That the arms were swinging as it went up the hill. Now, far as a walking motion goes, it walked with big strides at first, and they were very smooth. The animal was never in any real hurry, they stated, and never started running. In the later statement, he also stated that the footprints had five toes and were six to seven feet apart. And that when they was trying to follow this animal, that he really didn't know what they would do if they did catch up to it. They said that they would never shoot this animal, that it was just too human-like to them. Now, I hope you like this sighting report. So leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification button so you can keep up with all our latest videos. So coming up next is a short news article from February the 22nd of 2016. I know it's a while back, but I want to get all your opinions on the photo that is in this article. So let's get right on it. New photo of Bigfoot taken in Colorado Rockies. Denver. The legend of Sasquatch or Bigfoot has been known far and wide for centuries in northern Colorado. A newly released photo snapped by a local couple claims to have captured evidence of Bigfoot lurking in the Rocky Mountains. People from around the world are paying attention to this said Michael Johnson, with Sasquatch Investigations of the Rockies. Johnson owns a museum in Denver dedicated to Bigfoot. In it, he has a copy of the photograph shot by Jeff and Teresa Yell. If you focus on it, you can see the nose, the black eyes, the hair, he said. The photograph was taken near North Park. Now this is the photo I wanted to go over with you all. Do you see the face? I see what looks like a nose and an eye and maybe the outline of a face. But I noticed something else in this picture besides the face that they pointed out to us. Now look right here. I circled it here for you. Could this be a small one sitting on the larger one's shoulders? I don't know, but after I really started to look at this picture, it just came out to me. 
Now I see the face and this smaller head and body off to its left side. Maybe I'm just going nuts here. I guess my mind could just be playing tricks on my eyes. Picking something up that's just not there. So please let me know what you think on this one. Drop me a comment down below. Now if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries. Until next week, stay safe, have a great week, and again, thanks for watching.